Hey guys, uh, Brian here with Guardian Safe and Lock. Uh, today we're going to be picking the brain with Brian. Uh, basically, it's just an old family nickname that I got and translated into work. But uh, today we're going to be working on a Toyota 4Runner. Basically, what we're going to be doing is making a key from scratch. Just to give you a summary, brief summary of what we're doing, we're just going to pull the door cylinder. There's a key code on there that we can run, cut the key, test it out, and program it in. Um, so from there, we'll show you the steps of what we're doing. Alrighty guys, so on the door, you got a little cap in there and then you have to use a high security screwdriver in order to get this cylinder out. So, I'm just trying to get this cylinder out, which takes a little finesse to do. Not something that you could just, you know, unscrew and pop out right away. This guy. There we go. And got our key code right there. So let's go run it and see what we get. All right, guys. Uh, so we uh, ran the key code, got the cuts. Uh, now just setting up the blitz to where we can cut the key. Um, basically, we did a review earlier with, uh, you know, the blitz machine. So if you want to check it out, you know, click on the video and you can see how the explanation of how that works. But uh, basically, I'm just going to be setting it up to what the card tells me that I need to put the cutter on and basically set this thing up so we can cut the key correctly and got to get my change tools oh boy yep each individual key has a special type of blade it needs in order to cut the key Is a simple change. Luckily, nothing too strenuous. Alrighty, so what we're going to do first is uh, cut a test key, make sure that everything works properly and functions as it should, and then we'll cut it back onto the transponder, copy it on there with the duplicator here, and then uh, go program it in and see where we're going from there. Alrighty, guys. So the most common key for Toyotas is uh, the ILCO number of TR47. Um, that's your basic one that you'll see on the majority of vehicles today that are not proximity. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this key right here so it's about to get a little bit loud. All right, guys, so we're cutting the key now. Just trying to make sure I got this all correct here. Typical automotive keys are always double-sided, at least all the way up until about 2015 or so. And then they started making everything proximity on a Toyota. ever see a key with different cuts on each side because in order for the automotive key to work the cylinder itself the wafers are usually I don't know how to say it but you usually have uh, odds on one side evens on the other so if the key doesn't correspond equally on both sides then it's not going to work unless you put it in a specific way so to avoid that problem and issue with customers always coming back they always keep the same cuts on both sides so that way they work flawlessly The 
this particular key happens to have 10 cuts on each side. All right, that's our key. We're going to go check it out. So we got the cylinder back in place here, which not so fun to put back on, but we managed. And test the key out. Works. So make sure it works in the ignition. It goes to the on position, just like we need it to. Obviously doesn't start because it's not a transponder key. So let's go copy it onto that and then we'll program it in. Alright. So here we are. I'm gonna copy the key to a transponder. So, just to kind of give you some information, because some people think if it has a plastic head, well, they just think if it's a metal blade, period, that it's just a metal key. Sometimes that's not always the case. Sometimes, on the key itself, you have indicators that it is a transponder. Like on this one, it has a dot. That lets me know that this Toyota key has a transponder chip in it, which is why earlier the metal key didn't start up the car. So now that we got this copied, we'll make sure that the transponder key works properly, and then we'll show you the steps of going through programming. Alrighty guys, so today we're using the Smartbox Mini, which Smartbox ends up being a, one of my favorite programmers that we use here. Um, I mean, we have one other programmer that's not a smart box and it's not such a great one since they like to charge you monthly and per vehicle that you do it whereas smart box is all just per vehicle transactions but the mini doesn't have the capabilities as the regular smart box so it's just a little bit simpler to use But all we gotta do is just go in here, log in. And then we gotta select our vehicle under programming. If you wanna go to Toyota, we're doing a 4Runner. I believe he said it was a 2006, yep. And for programming transponders, we wanna Option A06, which is the only option. So, just following the steps, waiting on it to load, turn it to the on position, and then continue. And then, got to wait for approximately one minute. Okay, so we're going in. And tells us that we need a programmed key, otherwise we gotta go to all keys lost. So all keys lost it is wait for five seconds. Would you like to program another? Nope. 
Now we gotta wait another minute, and then this key's gonna be programmed. Remove key, insert in, leave it on off, and wait for six seconds. Well, at least it says to turn the ignition off after we remove the key, so. And we waited six seconds. So let's try it with the on position, just see if that's a typo. Okay. So apparently waiting for six seconds doesn't do anything. So what we're gonna try here is... Well, looks like that worked. Got it programmed. And that is uh, basically all the steps you gotta go through in order to get a key made and programmed into a Toyota 4Runner. Alrighty guys, so that was the conclusion on making a key for a 4Runner. Uh, if you don't mind, or if you really enjoy our content, if you don't mind subscribing, you know, hitting the bell icon for notifications that really helps us out and helps you out to keep up with us and figure out what we're gonna do next time. Well, that's it for uh, picking with the brain. Hopefully we get to see you again.